So, good day and welcome to today's lesson in numerical analysis. So, today we're talking about um, how to form the characteristic polynomial of matrices and how to also get the minimal polynomial of that particular matrix. And in this example, we are going to use this matrix T here to illustrate the two concepts. So whenever you have a matrix and you want to find the eigenvalues of the matrix, you have to know what the characteristic polynomial is. In some cases, you see it's poly um, characteristic equation. It's the same thing as before you can find for the eigenvalue. And mostly, a characteristic polynomial is given by the formula, the determinant of that particular matrix. So in this case, our matrix is T. So T then minus lambda times the identity matrix. So this lambda is a variable. So that means in some cases you can see X, Y, anything, it will hold. So another sign for the determinant is this as you can see here. So that's the reason why you can see this sign here. So that's the formula for computing the characteristic polynomial. So what this means is that you are going to subtract lambda from each diagonal. You know, the diagonal elements of this matrix are 3, 2, and 0. Right? So we are going to get a determinant of this as you can see here. We are subtracting the lambda from each diagonal element. So we have a 3 by 3 matrix here. And we want to find the determinant of it. Because this stands for determinant. To find for the determinant of it, you know, we will take this side and cut this portion, then take this side. You know, this side is minus, right? So don't forget this is plus, minus, and plus. All right, so doing that, you are going to get 3 minus lambda times the determinant of these 2 by 2 matrix here. Then, because of this negative, so we get negative 1 here, then times the determinant of this remaining 2 by 2 matrix and minus 1 times what you can see here. So after we get this, then we try to find the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix. So find the determinant of this will be this time this, then minus this time this, which will give us this as you can see here. This will also be this time this, minus this time this, which gives us this. And this will also be this time this, then minus this time this, which gives us this. So when we get this, the next thing we do is that we try to simplify things. So we do simplification. And when we simplify this, we are going to get this. The next thing we multiply through. So when we do all our multiplications and simplifications, we are going to get this here. Negative lambda cube plus 5 lambda squared minus 8 lambda plus 4 being the characteristic polynomial um, and we can decide to leave it in that form or multiply through by negative one so that we make the coefficient of our lambda cube that's the leading element one instead of negative one so when you multiply this equation here by negative one you are going to have this and that is our characteristic equation so one might decide to leave it in this form, but leave it in this form is better. So this becomes the characteristic polynomial or equation. So when you have your characteristic polynomial, you can find the roots of it and the zeros of it, and that will give you the eigenvalues. So hence the characteristic equation is what you can see here. So equation of polynomial, the same thing. Right, so now we have to find for the minimal polynomial. Minimal polynomial. Right, so before we find what the minimal polynomial is for that particular matrix, let's take some small definitions. So the minimal polynomial of a square matrix so always your matrix has to be a square matrix otherwise you can't find the eigenvalues values because you only find eigenvalues 
or determinants of square matrices. So the minimal polynomial of a square matrix E is the Moynik. So this is Moynik. Let me spell it here for you. So Moynik polynomial P of X of the least degree such that P of E is equal to zero. All right. So there is a term here that we have to explain Moynik. So when you see a Moynik polynomial, it is a polynomial which leading term is one. So for instance, let me give you an example. Lambda squared plus two lambda plus one. Three lambda squared plus two lambda plus one. Lambda cube minus five lambda. Two lambda cube plus one. Right, so you can see we have four polynomials here. You realize that the leading term here is lambda squared, and the coefficient of it is one. So it makes this polynomial here a Moynik polynomial. This one has three, so it is not. This one has one. So that one, this one is also Moynik. Then since this one is not one, this one is isn't. All right. So that's a term that you have to take note of. So is the Moynik polynomial p of x of the least degree, the least possible degree, such that p of e. So when you put in your matrix, like your p of e, you are going to get zero. All right. So in our question, okay, so, so we know that the minimal polynomial divides a characteristic equation, and if the characteristic equation is given by this, as we can see here, then its minimal polynomial is given by this, right? For some integers, one between so your mi less than or equals your ni. So you realize that with our question that we solved, we had this characteristic equation. And fortunately for us, the characteristic equation also happens to be the minimal polynomial. Polynomial, the minimal polynomial, because um I mean, let me write so minimal polynomial. So this characteristic equation here happens to be our minimal polynomial because it is a Moynik polynomial p of x of the least degree such that p of e is equal to zero. So you can try that out. So with the question that we solved, um, our minimal polynomial is lambda cube minus five lambda squared plus e lambda minus four equals zero which can be expressed in this form. So thank you very much. This is how to find a characteristic equation and the minimal polynomial. With this question, finding the minimal polynomial was a bit easy for us, but in some cases, it could be a bit, because you have to do one or two calculations. You're not going to get the characteristic equation, the, sorry, you're not going to get a minimal polynomial to be the same as the characteristic equation, okay? So thank you.